But I went out and did some yard work. Okay. And keep me busy and nice, yeah. Especially now because it's so nice out. Okay. So anything in particular being a problem right now? No. Right, I'm gonna lift you up a little bit here. If I tip her back, am I gonna hit you? You shouldn't, no. Okay, perfect. Ready? Yeah. Okay. So have you picked up any new hobbies since you've been home all these weeks? No. My daughter, she's a pastor and she's, I think has to be there at um, one o'clock. So the other daughter couldn't take me and I thought, oh my gosh. Oh, you're fine. And I bought a new lawnmower and I got the wrong thing. And it's electric one because I thought I could do it, you know. Yeah, those are nice and light. And then, uh, and then I should have got the one that uh, it self-propelled and I didn't get that. And that what? The self-propelled oh, self you don't have. Okay. So my daughter came over and I, oh gosh. <laughs> could you exchange it? No, I was using it, so I don't know. Maybe I'll just give it to one of the grandkids and get one that's self-prepared. Prepared. Propelled, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and the electric ones are nice. They don't make a ton of noise. And they don't make any noise. That's what I like. Because yeah. the people are working nights, you know, it doesn't going to wake them up. Right. You know? Now, what kind of shoes are you wearing when you're out there mowing your lawn? I'm wearing the ones that you, I got from you. The diabetic shoes? Yes. Okay. And the way that you say that, do you not like them? Yeah, I like them. Oh, okay. Yes. The way you said that, I thought you were not liking them. Oh, no. They're wonderful. Well, it's been a while since I've been here. Right. Well, I wasn't seeing anybody for nails for about six weeks. Oh, yeah. You know, we got to... I'm telling you, I... It's, it's just hard on everybody. It's very hard. You know, and I understand that. And I meant, imagine they have to close up a lot of places, you know. Except for the grocery stores and stuff. That's what I wanted, the big chunk. Then we had to cancel our a trip to Arizona. And, uh, I think we were supposed to go in March, but you know they canceled a lot of the planes, you know. And yep. So we have to wait till next year now and use the tickets and oh god, I tell you, it's really something. Well, I figure this will be a period that Americans talk about for generations. Yeah. Sorry, did that hurt? No. That one? Okay. So what year were you born in? June 23rd, 1925. Okay. I'm 94 and going to be 95 in June. That is awesome. So, but you've lived through then a lot of difficult times. You lived through the Depression, World War oh, One and Two. Oh, yes. Yeah. And I was originally uh, from Mason City, Iowa, uh -huh. and uh, 
people weren't making that kind of money, you know, like they do nowadays. Yeah, but things also didn't cost what they cost. And now. my dad worked in the brickyards and he didn't make much money. Okay. So you were there during the Depression in Iowa? Yeah. Well, I think your generation is much more... Well, now kids are spoiled. They don't know how to work and, uh, and do the things that we did, you know. We had a big garden we ate off of that uh, in the wintertime, you know, potatoes and carrots and my mother put up a lot of beans and mm -hmm. she did a lot of baking, you know, like uh, bread, you know. And she didn't even have a electricity. Really? And she had to wash our clothes by, you know, with a little scrub brush, you know. By hand. Wow. And but you know, when I think about it now, we we didn't have the clothes that we got now. Right. But I love to hang clothes out. It smells so fresh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, my mother. Yeah. That was backbreaking work, wasn't it? Oh my gosh, my poor mother. How many kids was she taking care of at the time? We had uh, six, there was five girls and one boy. And that's way too many when you don't make that kind of money. Right. It ain't fair to the kids either. We never got ice cream only on the 4th of July. And no pop. No air conditioning. <laughs> well, I don't think they had any of that yet. Oh my God. We had an outside biffy. <laughs> Did you? You had an outhouse. <laughs> oh, I, I tell you. <laughs> in the middle of winter. I had read a book in the be a best <laughs> About your outso outdoors biffy? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I. Well, it's just a whole different way of life. And my, you know, there was no more diapers for the kids, you know. Like, like you can just throw them away. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to go ahead and smooth all these out now, okay? Okay.
seven women coming up in May. And, uh, well, they don't know. I'm sorry, you said you got a wedding coming up in? In May, yeah. Oh. Are they, and, they, want to have a, they don't want to have a big wedding, and they're going to have it at his home on the drive there. They're going to do it in the driveway? But, you know, I don't know what they're going to do about the food. <laughs> you know. They'll give it to you in a doggy bag and let everybody take it home. <laughs> I don't know. Because you know they already paid for it, right? I shouldn't be worried about it because, it, you know... But still, you know, you're going to have something there. Right. And then later on, they're going to have, uh, when the things are open, then they'll invite the people over for... Yeah, big party. Yeah. And is this a grandchild? Yeah. Well, congratulations. Oh, my gosh, you got the nicest girls, you know. Yeah? He waited so long. You approve? He's my uh, nephew, you know. And he's got his own business, and he bought a home along the drive there. You know where North Memorial is? Mm -hmm. On Victory Memorial Drive? Yeah. yeah. So he bought a home there and remodeled everything in there. And nice. So he's got a nice start on him, you know. And you like the bride? Yeah. And I got another nephew that he's an airline pilot, you know, mm -hmm. and he's looking for a good... I says, tell him to, to wear his uniform, you, then you'll see the <laughs> <laughs> You bet. Yeah, go to a bar on a Saturday night in your uniform. Just tell him you're on a short layover. And he's kind of shy, maybe, and he's in his 30s, and <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> He's such a nice kid, too, you know. Yeah. But watch out who you get. <laughs> they might not last. And oh, you should see the home he's got out there in Arizona. Yeah. Well, I think he must have got some money from his grandfather when he passed away. His grandpa. Yeah. Ooh, that feels so good. Oh, good. Good. <laughs> well, thank you for letting us do the video again. Well, you better believe it. And <laughs>